I recently flunked my acting audition. Can't stop feeling bad about it since it's my dream to become an actor. What should I do to calm down and be productive again? I've been miserable since Friday. I'm sorry to hear it, friend. Oh, sh I almost died reading that comment. And then you would have flunked both your acting and my life in the game. Jeez. This place is so freaking big. I can't believe how big this map is. I wish I could scroll. Oh, we need to go there. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, man. Um, listen, you gotta remember. Like, if you're pursuing anything, be it your dream job, someone to share your life with, you know, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, the road there is just not it's like a road of success. The road is always like a bunch of misses, whiffs, mistakes, and then a small success, a little, a little you know, poke in the right direction, and then some missteps again, and then you just keep doing that over and over again until like, in total, you've had this trajectory. And you end up like a little bit closer to your goal. That's the road for everybody. I mean, take my career, for instance, which I know you guys are all fucking, oh, I want that shit. I mean, I, when I started out, it's not like I created a video and everything blew up and it was just like, a, you know? I created a shit ton of crappy videos, then I created a decent one that was still cringe. And then I created three crappy ones again. And then there was one that two guys liked. And then one got shared on a thing that gave me a bunch of new viewers. And then I had to create a couple of bad ones. And then I fell down and didn't create a lot for what, you know, that's how it goes. The important part to any success is to try and stick with it. And I think the only way to do that is to allow yourself to feel depressed when bad things happen, you know? But also realizing that that's not really a bad thing or a sign that it's gonna never work out. You know, for instance, you flunked this audition. Yeah. If you can if you can get to terms with the fact that you're probably gonna flunk a bunch of other auditions as well, then you're probably gonna succeed, if that makes any sense. Because <laughs> I think that's what it takes. It takes a shit ton of flunked auditions to get anywhere. Um, and the people that are actually going to stick with it and try and uh, power through that are the people that are going to succeed. But power through is not the right word, because again, I want to stress that the way you get past it is actually by allowing yourself feeling that it sucks. But also knowing that it's not really going to stop you and it's going to happen again and it's going to be fine. I don't know if that balance, maybe I'm just rambling here, but I don't, that balance is like key. I, you know, okay, shit. So I, I flunked an audition here. I didn't perform well at all. I made some crucial mistakes. But if you can be okay with feeling bad about that for a while, then you'll quickly move from like, oh shit, I'm trash at what, I, at what I'm trying to accomplish. You quickly move from that to, hmm, what did I do wrong? Why did I flunk it? What happened? What can I do next time to not do that again? And the quicker you can move from uh, that mind state to the other, the better. And the only way you do that is by allowing yourself to feel that way and go like, right now, for instance, you feel fucking depressed about it. You know, it sucks so much. You wish it didn't go this way. You feel inadequate and you feel like you're never going to succeed. Allow that feeling to to be what you feel at this point, right? Uh, just allow that. And don't do anything. Don't push towards it. Don't push towards anything else. Don't try like, oh, but it's actually good. No, it sucks. And it just sucks, dude. And just let it suck for a while. And then, once you've allowed yourself to feel that way, you can quickly move on to, okay, so what did I do wrong? I know this is going to happen again and it's going to be fine. I'm going to survive that as well. And then... I can actually proceed to, to learn from my mistakes and do all that, you know. Oh, what is this? Uh, Hunter's one, but it has two enhance cowardice. <coughs> and full HP, you deal increased range and melee damage. Damn. Interesting. Salvage. Salvage. Yeah, maybe I'm just rambling, but I think that's, you know, I think that's also applicable. It doesn't just have to do with, like, professional success. Like, that's the same, like, when it comes to... We're doing a dating stream on Friday, by the way. We'll talk more about things like this, but when you're dating, right... Like, there's nothing wrong by being the person who says, like, Oh, man, I'm in no luck when it comes to dating. Like, oh, all men are trash, all women are trash, all the people I fight, oh, I'm so unlucky. It's like, well, yeah, I mean, you're probably a bit unlucky. But most people that date are gonna feel exactly that. <laughs> most people that date don't find their dream date at the first date, and then it's all smooth sailing from there, you know? Most people that date, they date for a crap ton of time, and most people they date suck in some way or another or they're good but just not what they're looking for and that's just how it is and so if that's a fact then the people that can actually be okay with the fact that most dates suck and can try and have fun while it sucks are actually the people that probably are going to find someone to spend their lives with if that's the goal um in the end it all comes from the uh, from the same mentality which is just allow it to fucking suck man just allow it to be absolute wretched trash suck mobile yeah call a friend whine about it yeah. 
fucking play video games for six hours and don't think about it because you want to do that. You know? And then, once you felt it, you'll probably find it easy to get back up there. Get back out there. Go and ruin another edition. Oh, and one more one more point. Laughter, man. Fucking joke about it. I, I mean, that might just be me. But the way I deal with stuff like that is by joking about it. Yeah. Not in an insensitive way, but just to try and cope with it. Not to take yourself too seriously when it comes to most things. I know I have value in a lot of different aspects in life. But most of those aspects, when I talk about them, I'm just, I just like wreck myself instead. You know, because I find it fun. And it makes it not too serious. If this job was not available for me anymore at some point, I'll be so sad. I'll be so fucking sad. But when we talk about it here, I'm just like, yeah, I'll just go back to selling beds, Pog. <laughs> so who the f*** cares, you know? Ooh, loot!